Sadlow. Because they're bringing out everybody. Like, and it's, you know, I, I always get nervous when I watch a clip of Cudlow now. Cudlow looks good. Looks uh, like he's taking care of himself. <laughs> Look at that. It, Looking healthy. Look he, that. He's eating carrots. He's taking runs. I am a little bit concerned. This guy's like he's turning into Rudy Giuliani. He has the same sort of pallor as uh, Giuliani. He does, but they Giuliani, look like brothers. They do, don't they? Giuliani's got a little more vitality, though. Uh, Giuliani looks like he's going to like he's going to waste a lot more of our time before he goes. Here oh, is yeah, yeah, here is uh, Larry Kudlow. He is the top uh, economic advisor to Donald Trump. Um, guy has <laughs> some, some real heart problems. Um, and he um, he's trying to make the argument that, um, well, he... He's trying to say that, you know, federal workers are stand, uh, stepping up. Now, what he, you know, people sort of catch him on is the fact that, well, if they don't show up for work, they get fired immediately. And uh, even though they're not getting paid, and that is just beyond the pale to remind him of that. How are they volunteering? How are workers who have been recalled without pay volunteering? Pause it. I should just say that, like, prior to this, he says, look, you have federal workers who are coming in. They're volunteering to work at a time when there's no pay. They're really behind the president. That's why they're doing this. What, and what is that man doing to him? Is this guy is him? taking off his, his, I think, his microphone. Oh, I thought he was maybe dressing him. Yeah, ex <laughs> <laughs> exactly. How are they volunteering? How are workers who have been recalled without pay volunteering? They're coming out. Workers, they're showing up. It's not volunteering if you're, if you're forced to uh you know what i'm not even going to go there you know what i'm saying it's very clear and you know what else with respect to people who do have financial hardships as someone was asking they are coming to work and giving them the same 24-7 work they always did and i will say to you whatever semantic game you think you're going to play with me and I'm usually an easygoing guy. <laughs> Give them credit. Okay? They honor us. They honor us by their service. I don't care whether you're Republican or Democrat. I what? mean that sincerely. They honor us. Democrats have shut government down, all right? But it's a, you know what I'm saying. They honor us. And they do it because of their love for the country and the office of the presidency and uh, presumably their allegiance to President Trump, but whatever, they're doing it. Give them some credit, you know? <laughs> There's a lot of wonderful people in this country. There are a lot of wonderful people in this country, especially some of these young. I've become a, I've become a great fan of the millennials. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Somebody get uh, this man another drink. I thought he was going <laughs> to really another fall one. Apart. I love, I love it. Again, presumably out of loyalty for the president. Yeah, you know, they get very air, air traffic controllers are doing it for love of the country and to Trump. I, I have no doubt that there is that that people who work for the government um, have some measure of pride that they're working for the government. But um, let's not kid ourselves. They want to get paid, and they're coming in because they don't want to get fired. All of the millennials now. I'm not even going to talk about that. He, he, I mean, he was getting very. Uh, he might he be looked like he was more getting. Heart trouble, yeah, I think, he could, know, if you know what I mean. By yes, heart exactly. Trouble. He needs more heart medication. Yeah, I think, uh, or maybe not more heart medication for breakfast. Um, <laughs> some, some, but they're all on the defensive. Help. They're all on the defensive. Yeah, he went full patriot, pa patriot mode, right? It, yes, exactly. Uh, total last refuge um, <laughs> uh, situation. And, but he still managed to get it in like they're uh, praising President Trump by I, going. I like saying you don't want to play semantic games when you're trying to call that volunteering. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're playing like the You know what I mean. Game. Right. You know what I mean. Everyone knows what I mean. I don't even need to yeah. say it. They're getting paid. What, sir, they're not getting paid. Don't get, don't play semantics with me. Well, who was the dude we played last week with uh, Libby Watson when I was in the chair of, I forget, it was one of, Trump, one of another Trump economic oh, advisor. Oh, Kevin like, Hasser. Yeah. This is a vacation. Oh, yeah. You're just getting an early advance on a vacation. Right. And they're going to get back there. And they might so even really get paid just, for it, so they're going to have to take yeah, vacation I don't know, days. so actually they're having a great time. I well, like that he's a fan of the millennials now. Yes. That's, That's good. Cool. Uh, he's really impressed Powerful with them stepping closing up. Statement Thanks, bro. How did he get? How did he get turned on to millennials? He's on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the thread? Why did he bring up millennials there? I don't know. 
Yeah. I think he was. I think he assumes that most of these workers are millennials. Yeah, all TSA guys. They're all millennials named Duquan. <laughs> I saw it. All I the millennials him. in air yeah. traffic control. I yeah. mean, uh, I for one am flattered. As a <laughs> they're go. playing future. Um, Thank you. Somewhere, someone's mocking me, and I'm pretty sure they're a millennial. So, uh, as much as we think that this is hurting uh, the Republicans and Donald Trump, and I think we are days away from this, basically, uh, you know, like we are, it, it may take another day or two of, um, of, uh, of shutdowns of airports to to basically break this dam but it, it definitely feels like this is culminating that there are one or two senators who are walking down the hall and and telling mitch mcconnell like you got to deal with this this is time i mean you already have um you got uh um uh what's his face not uh gosh i can't even think in uh wisconsin um i want to say norm coleman but it's not norm coleman anymore ron johnson, ron johnson um not you know, semi-publicly blaming um, uh, McConnell for this, you know, making sure that it gets out that he is he's gotten mad at him, which suggests to me that Ron Johnson is rather concerned and worried that um, that, you know, uh, he's an Ayn Rand trust fund baby. Yeah, like that's his literally like he's a rich kid who read Ayn Rand and decided he needed to go torture people in the Senate. And he he's feeling real heat because that guy's also dumb. Well, he's not up so for re-election right. until 2022, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. So but they, that, there must be serious heat. He, if he's starting to get worried about it, yeah. he knows that it's pro, uh, that it's a problem. And I think we're a couple of days away. However, with all that said, Donald Trump seems to have a different perspective on it. Uh, the State of the Union speech has been uh, canceled by Nancy Pelosi because she doesn't want to hear the truth. She doesn't want the American public to hear what's going on. And she's afraid of the truth. And the super left Democrats, the radical Democrats, what's going on in that party is shocking. I know many people that were Democrats and they're switching over right now. They're switching over quickly. <laughs> So I hope they know what they're doing for their party. So far, they haven't. If you know, I won the Senate, meaning we won the Senate all together, but we get no credit for that. They don't talk about that. They talk about the House. I didn't have any chance to, other than a couple of people, like from Kentucky, where I went and campaigned for Andy Barr. And for some others, they ended up winning their races, but I couldn't campaign too much. Too many people. But we did a great job with the Senate, and uh, people don't want to talk about it. I will. Dude, he's coming back. These are some of the best Trump clips I've seen this in a while. He, he's falling apart here. I mean, he really, honestly, like he is falling apart. I think he's unflappable. I just think that's his one mode. I mean, he's falling yeah. apart a little, but like the run on sentence, the consist he's a one walking run on sentence. He really did. He really did catch himself, though, when he said, like, I won the Senate. I mean, we did. We all did. Yeah. We Which all I mean, we, we yeah, all did we. it. Whatever. When I say Where's I, Ben Carson? I, I yeah, he did it, too. Yeah. We Do you remember when uh, Mia Love lost? I remember, uh, and he was like, she gave me no love. <laughs> <laughs> Mia gave me no love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That has been the best storyline of the past couple of months. Is him just like oscillating between like, I won the Senate, historically but it, unprecedented. At, but then I lost the House because of Mia Love. And, and at one point, though, it becomes um, th those moments where he's talking about people can go and work with the locals, the local people. Um, it. You know, like there was a time where you could say this and on Fox they would repeat it and and they would see the clip and people would genuinely be. And I think there's still going to be 30, 35 percent who are like Democrats are bleeding support right now. Like they're just people are walking away. The president said it on television. I don't think walk away is sticking. Like yeah. I think it's I think it's Republicans and like Charlie Kirk think it's sticking. But no one talks about walk away. No, I don't. Th I, I don't even know. Yeah, Charlie I don't know. Kirk a lot of people are walking. A lot, a lot of people. people. And you hear it from Brandon people. Starka. Brandon Starka. A lot of locals St yeah. walking. The locals are walking and they're going to the milk people and they're getting a milk loan. And then they're <laughs> leaving the extreme, the Democratic Party. They don't want the truth. Some uh, people said you can't handle the truth. And that's Nancy Pelosi. Some people. Some, very Some people. Good people. <laughs>